Good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing? I am going to ask if you follow along with me that you um, actually go into um, John, the second chapter. And um, while you're doing it, what I'm going to do is um, just get my, um, computer just right because I had some screens up before we came on and just celebrate everybody the new moon and um in Taurus and um all of the energy that's coming in embrace it right embrace it how um embrace it because there are changes that people are looking at going back to doing the same thing and the changes are going to throw you into a tailspin if you do not change with the universe and that's one of the problems um that we have because of different teachings so i don't want to get into the different teachings i just want to say that be open to change and be open to the changes that you prayed for be open to change daily because it's happening daily however sometimes it just catches up with us you know what I'm saying? In a way that is so impacting that we see it. So what changes do you have in your life right now? When you look at um, all this going on collectively, there's changes out there collectively all over the world, but then there's changes within um, our households, our jobs. Um, yeah, families. Um, People are transitioning from our families. That's a change. Um, and all of this means that we either accept or we hold on to what we used to know. Um, acceptance means that I see some things going on. That means that something is going on and collectively it's changing everyone's life. Um, cities and states have been shut down. Um, where we work has been shut down, a need to revise things, a need to change from old structures, not a need to do the same thing we did uh, two years or three years ago. Um, divorce and marriages um, have taken place. Some people are experiencing um, um, thoughts of um, restoration and, and getting back together. All of these things are on the table because the old structure was breaking things down anyway. And so holding on to the old means that I won't get the advantage that the new structure is giving me because I don't even see that it's new. I want it the way that it used to be. Well, how could you love someone the way that you, you used to when it didn't work? You could love them more if you learn the new way of love, right? Or a love that you have not experienced. And that's not toxic. It's a love that says, this feels good. It doesn't feel like I've been, I'm being beat on or I'm being um, angry or um, I have a narcissistic thought process because this goes two ways when it goes with relationships. But even when you look at workplaces, you if you operated a certain way, listen, it's not going back the same once we go back because the universe shifted it for us to get a lesson, not to say, okay, you, you know what? You got a quarantine and this is it. And then you go back and you're doing things the same way. No, it's just not the same. So it's as much as we adapt to think about in our minds and collectively think about what's happened, but also go into collectively what leaderships have um taken us through what we've done, how we trusted leaders over countries and cities and states and looked at what we have here. So let's go to John, um, the second chapter, because, you know, a lot of people don't want to look into the heavenlies or spirit to see what's going on. They want to look at earth and you're not getting no new information in the earth other than we're sitting. You don't get new information in the heavenlies when you meditate and you pray and you really, really are earnest to to seek, seek the kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom and all things shall be added unto you. All right? 
So let's go into John and let's just see what's happening there because some of the issues happening in the heavenlies is not being brought into the earthly and the Bible is spiritual. So how do we look at it from an earthly standpoint? It's not possible. Then there is um, the, 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 the information that was given that um, planetary energy and the Bible is not you know, uh, conducive or that it's some kind of wicked thing that you look at when God um, in the beginning created the heavens and earth. You have to bring them together. As long as you separate them, you will not get the information that is needed to overcome um, self issues, overcome community issues, overcome collective issues. Because when you look at Christ, the people that he was dealing with were politicians and religious um, individuals, the Jews, the Sadducees you know, uh, the Pharisees, these are people that are ruling countries. Um, can somebody help me? All right. Because yeah, I, I'm like, God, I have all this information that I understand. What are you going to let me talk about this? Because sometimes people are leading you for their own convenience. How about we lead people for people's convenience? We the people for the people, how about that really? So the people have to start thinking for themselves as well. They gotta trust their own inner compass. So here's John, John the second chapter. Uh, email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com if you want to get in on my classes. Um, or just understand a little more. Uh, Christ and Jesus and Lord Jesus called disciples to the marriage. And when they were on, the mother of Jesus says, I have no one. Lord Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? I'm not come yet. His mother says unto the servants, Whatever he says, do it. So mom knows that something is going down. Mother speaks to him and says, I don't have any money. Now, this was a different kind of thing. In the Jewish community, when they're sitting and they're um, doing Passover, and they always have wine. So if the wine ran out, there is a problem because this is a tradition. Now, when you look at this here, tradition that they had, you want to look at it and see that there was a shift and a change when we go on to read. Now, what's happening in the universe is that major players like Pluto and Jupiter, they conjuncted. I think it was last week, not to mention back in January. And someone would say, well, what does that have to do with the Bible? Well, the matter of fact is, is that Pluto um, is the god of the underworld. The underworld is um, death and rebirth. So there's a breaking of old things um, and a birthing of new. So here is Pluto. And he's saying, Jupiter, we got to expand this all over the world. We got to break down some things that have not been working for the people because the, the universe was actually cr created um, for all, not for some. And that means that we need to bring some justice in for the people. So when Jesus and his mother are talking, his mother says, the wine is gone. Now, you know that this is not proper in our um, community. Jewish people drink wine at their festivities, okay? So something is wrong. And son, because you are Christ, we need for you to get on your job and know who you are and make this wine. Now, I don't want anybody to get upset with me, but mothers are always provoking the truth in their sons and daughters. It's like mom carried you, you know? The anointing uh, was in her, and now she's triggering uh, Christ with a word. By the way, triggering the Christ in Jesus with a word saying, the wine is no more. And Jesus says, my hour has not come. What does that mean to anyone? He didn't see that his miracle hour had come for him to begin to speak to the things in the universe or in the atmosphere and call them into being. He didn't see that his power was there in the manifestation. And a lot of people would say, well, I don't believe that that is the case. Listen, you need to read this word because if he says my hour has not come and his mother is telling the servants to do whatever he says, there is a setup for him to remember who he, are, who he is. Now, how many of us is there? right? So here is the planetary composition of um, Jupiter and Pluto. Pluto breaks stuff down. 
it's not that he's breaking it down or the energy is breaking it down so that you won't have anything. It's so that something new can come. We don't want the old, the universe says, because if the universe wanted the old, we would still have no buildings, nothing but land here, right? All right, so you can see the picture. But here, going back, it says, and there were six or set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of Jews containing two or three firks in them. Fill the pot. So after mom has triggered him, actually said to him, no wine. He says, oh. he says, there's no wine. We do something. And what was this all about? They were at a marriage festivity, you know, a marriage festivity. No wine was like out the door that, that's not permissible you've got to have wine and so to make a long story short jesus goes on he performs his miracle he transforms and that's the part with pluto again the transformation that many people are experiencing they could be pushing it aside while your water is being turned to wine you know your water is being turned to wine because there's a new taste. You cannot put old wine, a new wine in old skin. And you cannot put new wine in old skin. Come on. And so Pluto and that energy that's coming from the universe is saying, yes, I'm breaking things down. Things are dying, but new things are going to grow if you let go, right? New things are going to come like the new wine that Jesus uh, brought forth is going to come. Now, how is this happening? Because a lot of people don't connect themselves um, straightforward with Jesus. Jesus was a man with Christ within him. Like, yeah, I used to laugh at myself because going to church, I would believe, um, that Jesus' last name was Christ. But then I got the whole piece. You know, scripture tell us, for those who know that the kingdom of God lives, there is a new kingdom coming. It's been going on in the universe for a set of for eons. What is the new kingdom about? The rebirthing, the new birthing. And those that are dead in Christ shall rise. Revelations is not scary. After it is chapter of truth that John here and John is the first John that he wrote. And John the Revelator. So he evolved into um, a understanding where Revelation come to him. Now, getting to wine, I don't want you to lose focus. Wine was transformed to a wedding to taste. And then go on, you'll see they said they taste like this before. So there was something new. The wine, it was a different to wine. It is. We're going to sit and hang our hat. We're hang our hat that every time they talk this can't be working for you anymore. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you that life is over or your family is over or that um, you're being that the universe has that it's a different way to do this. Throughout time, within the next 10 years, we're going to change and technology that we've never seen before. Okay, you know, brother ain't working. I, mean, I don't want to change, but there's a lot of people are ill, right? And so if you look at you, he expands things. He's always um, sitting in here. He wants to do with the right. These bigger uh, planets have um, Jupiter in a place where it has to do with I don't think we were saying. So we're tearing down. The virus is not even here because people have to wake up to listen. They're putting themselves here. The mystery and the sun have to them. Up. So information is here. And it, lines, it lines up with, it lines up with, to change even um, something that people don't want to talk about is mythology. But you look at the scriptures and you look at um, the God. That's why there's inspired uh, Quran. He said, God wants to inspire the heavenly conversations the way that we have to wake up and not away anything concerning Christ. Because I learned myself even more in recording this. That's behind that I'm inspired because God's leading me to something. The God is understanding and the knowledge and wisdom. So for those who hear me or born in, believe I'm not so that I'm not teaching you. One do is your durations but not suffering. Why do we? A collective people, we the people, have a suffering, and yes, we have worked. Some of us have worked. Right? So, all of us are different categories. We have that's not an idea, right? So, again, you know, you we have a class on the the chance one is one of every class. I'm doing a great planetary with our biblical. Um, I mean, why? Because that's the way God is teaching me, right? And um, I also uh, speak into it. So, classes and ones more healing come there. Um, I teach those and I individually. All right, God be read John said you that how Pluto is the time of dinosaurs. If that had been a death and rebirth, I believe we are right now with builds and people who want technology. We have internet. All right, we are. Don't get stuck in the feelings that you have. No one can really do anything. Think of the world at this time. You and have one day.